Do you wanna know the good and bad about living in central New Jersey? We'll stick around to find out. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in Central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every Monday. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of not only living in New Jersey, but living in Central New Jersey. You know, there's a long-standing debate about whether or not Central New Jersey actually exists. So keep your eye out for a future video where I explain and go into all of that in much more detail. For the purposes of this video, when I'm talking about Central New Jersey, I'm talking about Middlesex County and more specifically Woodbridge, New Jersey. You see, Woodbridge is the main hub where two of the state's main highways intersect, the New Jersey Turnpike and the Garden State Parkway. Before we talk about all the pros and cons about living in Central New Jersey, check out the description box below where I actually have a link where you can download a free Central New Jersey relocation guide. This guide goes over some of the main topics and areas of concern when you're deciding where to live. Now let's get started. One of the first pros to living in central New Jersey is that you're close to two major metropolitan cities, Philadelphia and New York City. In about an hour and a half, you could be in the center of Philadelphia. You can be enjoying things like the Liberty Bell. You could be running the stairs at the Museum of Art like Rocky did in his movie. Or you can be enjoying a classic cheesesteak at Pat's or Gino's. Or for more locals, if you're on South Street, they prefer gyms. Or you can jump in your car, hop on the train or the bus, and about an hour north, you could be in Manhattan. You can be enjoying things like the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, go ice skating at Rockefeller Center, or catch a show on Broadway. Okay, I'm gonna get it out of the way. One of the cons of living in New Jersey is that we have some of the highest property taxes in the country. According to patch.com, our effective tax rate is 2.16%, with a median household of roughly $80,000, and a median home value of $335,000. However, you do have to put things in perspective. So let me give you an example. Beautiful Hawaii. In Hawaii, the effective tax rate is only 0.29%. However, the median home price in Hawaii is $617,000. That's more than double the average household in New Jersey. While the average household income is roughly 77,000. So just a little bit less than what we do here in New Jersey. So while your effective tax rate or your property taxes is gonna be a lot lower, the home values are a lot higher. So could actually even each other out. Pro, there is so much to do in central New Jersey. We've got shopping malls, we've got local boutiques, we've got restaurants, we've got mom and pop shops, we've got hatchet throwing, arcades, trampolines. You're within half an hour of the beach. There's lots of public parks, movie theaters, shopping mall, off-track bedding, wineries, breweries, museums, golf courses, mini golf, escape rooms, the list goes on and on. Really, there's never a chance of anybody being bored with an overabundance of activities close by. Which brings me to my next con. We have so many activities around us because we have a very dense population. Some would say that central New Jersey is actually quite congested with a lot of traffic. However, if you do live locally, you get to know the flow of traffic and the traffic patterns and you know which areas to avoid. Except for the phantom traffic on the Garden State Parkway. Please somebody explain that to me. Pro. Our next pro is a big one. Being centrally located in the state, you get to take advantage of everything that the state has to offer. It really doesn't take you that long to drive the entire length of the state. About two and a half, three hours to go all the way south down to Cape May, and about two hours to go up north to Bergen County. We have five major international airports within driving distance. Newark is roughly 20 minutes away from Woodbridge. Philadelphia Airport, LaGuardia, and JFK in New York are all about an hour and a half away. And the Atlantic City Airport is about two hours away. So you have lots of travel options. You're about 40 minutes from the American Dream Mall, which just opened recently. You're about 40 minutes from MetLife Stadium where the Jets and Giants play. You're about 30 minutes from the Prudential Center where the New Jersey Devils play. You're about two hours from the casinos down in Atlantic City. And like I said earlier, you're about an hour and a half from Philly and an hour from New York. Also, being centrally located, to get to all of these wonderful destinations, you have a lot of routes and highways to choose from. The two main ones in New Jersey that I would mentioned earlier are the New Jersey Turnpike and the Garden State Parkway. You also have Route 18, Route 35, Route 9, 287, Route 1, Route 27, and the list goes on and on. A lot of these major routes and highways all intersect in Middlesex County right in central New Jersey. Which brings me to my next pro, which is public transportation. You also have a lot of that here in central New Jersey. You have 
the New Jersey Transit trains and buses that take you directly up to New York City. They also take you all across the state and there's even a route from between Philadelphia and Atlantic City. You can also take a ferry from the Atlantic Highlands up to the city. Not to mention being in a densely populated area, there's lots of taxi and ride sharing options such as Uber, Lyft, and we do have quite a few local taxi companies still around. Your quick drive to Bayonne where you can hop on some of the major cruise liners. Con. Okay, I have to address this one. New Jersey has some of the highest cost of living in the country, I know. But think about it like this, you're actually getting what you pay for. You're close to major cities, you're close to airports, there's lots to do. It's easy to get around. There's lots of public transportation. I haven't even mentioned the Jersey Shore yet, which I'm about to get to. So you really do get what you pay for here. But consider this, if you're moving to the Garden State, consider moving to central New Jersey, which is a bit more affordable than the northern part of the state. Let me give you an example. The average sale price of a home in Bergen County, which is on the north side of the state, is roughly $578,000. Whereas here in Middlesex County, the average home sale is $300,000. So it's much more affordable. Pro, I saved the best for last. The Jersey Shore. Now, it's not exactly what you've seen on TV. I promise you it's much more beautiful. We have roughly 130 miles of Atlantic coastline here in New Jersey and 44 public beaches that are absolutely beautiful. Here in Woodbridge, you're roughly 30 to 40 minutes from Seabright and Sandy Hook, which are absolutely beautiful and offer some great free parking. Of course, you can go all the way down the coast from there as far as Cape May and Wildwood, which is about two hours away and everything in between. If you are relocating to the area, I'm gonna give you a local insider's tip, something called Locals Summer. This happens in September, after all the tourists have gone back for the summer and the kids are back in school. The weather is still really beautiful and the stores and restaurants are all still open. Locals will take advantage of this time. They'll enjoy the beach, especially since the Atlantic Ocean is now nice and warm and toasty since it takes most of the summer to warm up. The restaurants are still open so you can still enjoy some really great local food and the stores are still open so you can still shop local businesses. And bonus tip, a lot of them run end of the season sales at this time. So if you live locally or you live within driving distance, make sure to take advantage of local summer. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned earlier, if you're considering relocating to New Jersey, go ahead and click the link in the description below to get a copy of your free Central New Jersey relocation guide. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comments section below. I really hope that you found this information helpful. You know, my goal is to make the content you're looking for. So if you have an idea for a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. I'll see you next week.